Uh, at 10.50 yesterday morning, a 47-year-old Murray Bridge man was reported missing from 12 Tennyson Avenue at Murray Bridge. The person had been reported by friends and as best we can make out, the person was last seen somewhere between midnight on Tuesday night and sunrise on Wednesday morning. Later that morning, police went to the house and found what appeared to be a bloody crime scene. And shortly after that, major crime investigation branch and local detectives became involved in the investigation. Throughout the day and into the evening, the investigation continued and resulted in police going to an area 250 metres east of Jervois Road and General Corners Road at Jervois, where adjacent to a dirt track, they found the body of the missing man. We're unable to release his name at this time until um, relatives are advised. As the investigation continued, we identified that a red Nissan Navara twin cab ute um, had been involved in the disposal of the body and we arrested two local men for assisting uh, the offender. Those people are in custody and have been charged at the Murray Bridge Police Station and will appear in court later today. We've had about 30 officers, uh, additional officers in Murray Bridge assisting last night and today, uh, including major crime detectives, uh, local detectives, people from the state tactical uh, unit and also forensic people. That'll continue for tonight and as long as necessary to continue this investigation. At this stage, the people have been charged with assisting an offender and we're still conducting investigations to identify who's responsible for this murder. Of particular interest to us is any movements at 12 Tennyson Terrace at Murray Bridge or 52 Mulgundawa Road at Murray Bridge uh, between about 5 p.m. on Tuesday and 10 p.m. last night and central to the investigation is the movements of the Nissan Navara. We would appeal to anybody who has seen the Nissan Navara um, or any other vehicles attending those addresses um, at any time in the last day to contact Crime Stoppers immediately. And in respect to the Nissan Navara, anybody who's seen the movements of that vehicle in and around Murray Bridge or Jervois. I'm happy to take questions. Do you know anything about the victim's injuries? What exactly did he die from? Um, we believe that it was as a result of a severe beating, but I won't go past that. Was there a weapon involved? Uh, we can't say at this stage. Do you have any idea about the motive behind this murder? We're actually pursuing um, several different um, avenues of investigation around motive and it wouldn't be helpful for us to speculate on any of those at this time. Are you looking for anyone else? We know that at least two offenders were involved in the disposal of the body, but that doesn't mean more people weren't involved. And we're still trying to clarify who was actually responsible for the murder itself. Do you believe it was one of the two men already arrested? Uh, it's too early to be certain of a, a large number of the facts in this case, um, and, and that'll form part of the investigation. You don't want to release any more information about the identity of the victim, but can you tell us anything more about him, about why he may have been targeted? No, because that would, that would head into various reasons that may have been put up by people about motive. Um, there's a range of different motives that have been identified by different people and we don't know if any of them are credible. What's your reaction to this you know, alleged murder? He was you know, a well-known person in the community and obviously you know, you're saying he's brutally batched. Yeah, he was. Um, at least one of the offenders that's been arrested for assisting in the disposal of his body lived at the address. Uh, with the victim um, and one of the occupants um, appears not to have had any involvement or knowledge of it. So um, any of these murders are terrible, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter what circumstances, uh, invariably they're always completely unnecessary uh, and there's no excuse for violence of any kind. And the two people who've been arrested, they've been cooperating with police? I, they've both been interviewed but I won't go into what was said. And what exactly led you to that area at Jervois? Um, it was as a result of the investigation, that's as much as I'm about to say at the moment, but we went to that location specifically looking um, for the victim. Um, and it's fair to say that we think that um, people involved in the disposal of the victim's body at that location would have some local knowledge of that area. And that's why it's really important to find out the movements of that Nissan Navara 
and other vehicles that might have been seen in that area. Was the body concealed in any way or just out in the open? It was partially concealed behind some mounds of dirt. Do you have a rego for that missing? Yeah, I'll provide that to you after. What's the relationship of the other person who has been arrested but not living at the address to the victim? Uh, they're, they're a group of um, associates, they're all known to one another. Do you believe drugs may have been involved? No, we don't, we don't know what the motive is at this stage. As I say, there's a number of motives put forward. There's a number of motives put forward and there's no evidence to um, prove or disprove any of those motives at this time. Right. Thank you. Thank you.